Okay, we are back for more of Marty's birthday special. And what segment number are we in right now? Is it eight? Yeah, it is, with the Jeopardy Platinum Edition game on the PC here. And so far in Marty's birthday bank, he's got $89,000. I'd like to get him some more. This is Jeopardy. Let her be a player, but a computer player. Let's let her be a player too, as a computer player. And as for me, I'll be him. Alright. Let's play. And now, here is our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Here are the categories. Food and drink. Newspapers and magazines. Presidential relatives. French history. Artists. State flags. Artists 100. Born in Nuremberg in 1741, Albert Dürer is called this country's greatest renaissance artist. I'm going to say what is Germany. Yes. Artist 200. This co-creator of Cubism with Picasso was also a pioneer of collage. Hmm. I don't think it's Salvador Dali because he was a surrealist. George Brock? You're right. Yeah, Sally got it right. Now it's newspapers and magazines for 200. Thomas J.C. Martin, a former editor of Time Magazine, founded this rival in 1933. Life? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Hmm. It's not People Magazine, because that was the 70s. Newsweek? That's a correct response. Select again. Oh, that's right. Newsweek. The Gallery of the Louvre by this telegraph pioneer sold for $3.25 million in 1982. Uh, who is uh, Samuel Morse? Yes. Artist 300. Edvard Munch was born on December 12, 1863 at Loten in this Scandinavian country. What is Norway? That's right. Pick again. Artist 500. The JMW initials by which this English artist is known stand for Joseph Mallard William. Uh, I don't think it's Wyeth. JMW Turner. That's a correct response. I like okay. to get it. In ancient times, the region that includes all of modern France was known by this name. Uh. Region that includes all of modern France. Uh, Frank Wright? No, sorry. Uh-uh. Gosh, I'm not sure about this one, so I'm going to hold back. If I were to guess, I'd say either Brittany or Normandy. Gaul? Right. Good thing I didn't buzz in. In a seafood restaurant, order a bucket of steamers and you'll get these. Uh, what are clams? That's a correct response. Select again. A food and drink, 100. In 1961, Coca-Cola launched this soda with the great lime and taste. What a Sprite. You're right. Food and drink for 200. This candy made of peanuts and caramelized sugar isn't always as easy to break as it sounds. Um, peanuts and caramelized sugar, um... What is, uh, Cracker Jack? No? This candy made of peanuts and caramelized sugar isn't always as easy to break as it sounds. Oh, peanut brittle? Okay, I'll try that. That's right. Pick Thank you, Mom. Food and drink, 400. It's the Italian term for Italian ham. Um, what is salami? Sorry, wrong. Ah, uh, no, but salami's a sausage. 
I'm sorry? What is the question? It's the Italian term for Italian ham. No, sorry. It's not Genoa salami. Gen it's not Genoa salami, because salami is a sausage, now that I think about it. Yeah, the Italian term for Italian ham, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Pick again. Prosciutto, yeah. If left unchecked, this Italian summer squash could grow to the size of a watermelon. Uh, what is zucchini? That's right. Pick again. Booyah. Okay, let me have... I guess let me have papers and magazines for 100. Frederick J. Bonfels made this city's post the most read paper published in the Rockies. What is Denver? That's a correct response. Select again. Newspapers and magazines for 300. Author William Dean Howells was once an editor of this magazine, now edited by Helen Gurley Brown. Oh. Sorry. Wrong. Not good housekeeping. Uh. William Dean Howells. Uh, Cos Cosmopolitan? That's right. Pick again. Oh, Cosmo, yeah. This magazine for African Americans have a has a circulation of over 1.8 million. What is Ebony? That's right. Pick again. Newspapers and magazines for 500. His reports about the search for David Livingstone were published by the New York Herald. Um, Theodore Dr Theodore Roosevelt? No, that's not right. Anyone else? No way. Oh. Oops, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. That's not going to help. His reports about the search for David Livingstone were published by the New York Herald. Dr. Livingstone, I presume. Oh, who was that? Henry Morton Stanley. Oh, okay. French History 100. The revised French Civil Law is still largely... Based on the code that he enacted in 1804. Who was Napoleon? You got it. French History 300. Ten kings of France shared this name, including the bald, the simple, and the fair. Uh, oh, what is, well, who is, what is Charles? Right. French History for 400. In 1787, an edict of toleration restored most civil liberties to these French Protestants. The Huguenots. That's a correct response. Select again. Oh, yeah, the Huguenots. This president's grandfather, Honey Fitz, was the mayor of Boston. Um, who is John F. Kennedy? That's right. Pick again. Presidential relatives, 100. His son, John Adams II, was the only president's son married in the White House. Oh, uh, well, it's got to be obvious. Who is John Adams? No, sorry. Oh, John Quincy Adams. Ah. Uh, it's John Quincy Adams. Eh. Oh, well. Not worried. No, that's not right. Anyone else? I said John Adams, you numbskull! Uh, Sally or Wendy, did either of you take stupid pills before the game? It's I found out it's John Quincy Adams. Gosh, that's wrong. Yeah. John Quincy Adams, yeah. It's alright. James Monroe's son-in-law, George Hay, had prosecuted this former vice president for treason. Who is that one guy who's never been in my kitchen? Thomas Jefferson? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Alexander Hamilton? Aaron Burr? You got it. Oh, yeah, Alexander. It was. No, it was Aaron Burr. When Hugh Capet was chosen as king in 987, it brought an end to, the, it brought an end to this ruling dynasty. Oh. The Carolyn Jean. Yes. Oh, yeah, headed by Charlemagne. 
Appropriately, this evergreen state is the only state whose flag is green. What is Maine? Sorry, wrong. That's not the evergreen state. Uh, evergreen, evergreen state. It's not Vermont. It's not California. Gosh, that's wrong. The Evergreen State, for some reason, I think it's New Hampshire now. Now that I've had a chance to think about it. I don't think it's... If I, were to, if I were to have another chance, I'd say, what is New Hampshire? That's a correct response. I'll no, it's again. Washington. Oh. Okay. A badger sits atop the shield of, on this state's flag. What is Wisconsin? You're right. State flag's for a hundred. The eight stripes on this state's flag represent the eight main islands. What is Hawaii? That's right. Pick again. State flag's for 200. As a reminder of its fur trapping days, Oregon shows this animal on the reverse of its flag. Ben would get me if I did not say what is the beaver. Right. Ben has 7 South Carolina's flag depicts a crescent over this state tree. Uh, what is the palmetto? You got it. Make another selection. Uh, the Daily Double is either in the $200 or the $300 or $500 clue. I'll go $300. This little southern girl sold lemonade to reporters during her father's 1976 campaign. Uh, who is Rachel Carter? Or Amy Carter? That's a correct response. And the last clue is mine because it is the Daily Double. Uh, $1,300. Here's the clue. This murder mystery author's first name is Mary. Margaret is her middle name. Who is Truman? Margaret Truman? You're right. Putting me at $5,000. All right, it's time now for the double Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. Cliches. Royalty. Movie songs, the Bible, Black America, by the numbers. All right. She was Queen Juliana's firstborn child. Uh, I don't know. Queen Beatrix. Right. Either of Sweden or Denmark. One of those two. This prince consort's parents were Prince Andrew of Greece and Princess Alice of Battenberg. I'm going to say who is Prince Philip. That's a correct response. Select again. A royalty for 200. Her grandfather, William the Ninth, was a famous troubadour as well as the Duke of Aquitaine. Carla was playing, so... Hi! Hey, look what we got here. It's Jay! Oh, sorry. Or should I say, it's an arctic wolf. A wolf. Well, uh, Jay, um, I'm actually playing Jeopardy Platinum Edition on the PC as part of uh, Marty's birthday special. Woo. Yep. Oh, Eleanor of Aquitaine. That's right. Pick again. And we're in the double Jeopardy round. That's cool. You may need more conditioner if you argue over your trifles because you're splitting these. What are hairs? You got it. Make another selection. A cliche is for 200. Yes, sir. To clear one's mind is to blow away these spider structures. What are weds? Sorry, wrong. Foop. Oh, and for everybody out there watching, you've heard me talk about this time and time again, but I'm going to mention it again. It's March 1st. Gosh, that's wrong. One month and three days from today, Jay and I are going to be meeting in person. Yeah. In Boston, Massachusetts. Yes. That's right. Oh, cobwebs. That's right. Pick again. Had to be more specific. It was cobwebs, not just webs. Now it's uh, by the numbers 400. Having increased to 15 stripes by 1795, the American flag returned to this many in 1818. What is 13? That's a correct response. Select again. By the numbers 200. Answer. It's the number of days in September, April, June, or November. What is 30? Right. By the numbers for 6. In 
a number one hit, and the Mysterians wanted you to cry, 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 cry this many tears. 96? You got it. Make another selection. Never heard that one. But oh well. It's slang for a piano. What is, uh, 88 keys? That's right. Pick again. I'll buy the numbers for a thousand. In the charge of the Light Brigade, it's the number of soldiers who rode into the Valley of Death. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard that one. 600? You got it. Make another selection. That is right. Before his ministry, Jesus is believed to have practiced this trade taught to him by Joseph. Oh, gosh. Uh, carpentry? Yeah. That's right. Pick again. Oh, that's right, because his father, Joseph, was a carpenter. Hello. This song from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was Sammy Davis Jr.'s only number one pop hit. What is the Candy Man? Yep. The Candy Man can... Yes. Movie songs for 200. Songs from this 1964 Walt Disney film include I Love to Laugh at a Spoonful of Sugar. What is Mary Poppins? That's right. I'd get... better have gotten that one right. Uh -huh. Movie songs 400. It goes like it goes from this Sally Field film about a southern textile worker won a 1979 Oscar. What is Norma Ray? You got it. Make another selection. Movie songs 800. In 1969, Henry Mancini reached number one with A Time for Us, the love theme from this film. Uh, what is Romeo and Juliet? That's right. Pick again. Movie songs 1000. It's in there. In this 1936 film based on an operetta, Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald sang Indian Love Call. <laughs> Naughty Marietta? No, sorry. There's no way that's right. Correct. Well, me, I don't have a clue on this one, so I'm not buzzing in. Hey. Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald, Indian Love Call. I've never even heard of Indian Love Call. Rose Marie? Yes. Never would have guessed that. Black America for 800. Toussaint L'Ouverture, a painting series by Jacob Lawrence, deals with the slave rebellion in this country. What is France? Uh, no, it's Black America. Um, it's Black America, so I'll say what is Haiti. That's a correct response. Select again. Wow, lucky, lucky guess. Uh, Black America for two. Louis Latimer was an engineer for this inventor in the 1880s and wrote a book on his lighting system. Uh, who is Thomas Edison? That's right. Pick again. Luck America for 400. In 1975, golfer Lee Elder became the first black to play in this major tournament in Augusta, Georgia. It's the Masters. The Masters. Uh, 600 Black America. The answer there is the Daily Double. It's a Daily Double. And I have a big lead right now. I have $10,200. I'm going to wager just 600 on this clue. In 1967, he resigned as America's first black solicitor general to become the first black Supreme Court justice. Oh, what's his name? I'm going to just take a guess and say who is William Rehnquist. Sorry, wrong. No, it wasn't him. Thomas. Jay says Clarence Thomas. No, it was Thurgood Marshall. That was Thur the other one I was thinking. Thurgood Marshall. But that's okay, I didn't lose too much. Black America, a thousand. In 1985, Mississippi held a week-long celebration honoring this late author, a native son. Richard Wright? You got it. Make another selection. Yeah. Okay. King Sancho IV of Navarre was the father-in-law of this Leonine English king. Uh, who is King John? Or who is just John? No, I'm sorry. That's what... Oh, no. Richard the Lionhearted. Ah. Richard the Lionhearted. Ugh. For some reason, I was thinking about Prince John from Robin Hood. Considering the fact that I watched that movie right. the other day. The Bible for 200. When asked about the whereabouts of Abel, he replied, 
I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Who is Cain? Yes. That's right. Pick again. Bible for 600. The answer there is the other daily double. This ought to be interesting. $9,400 is what I have. I'm going to do what I did last time. 600. Answer there. Some of these mentioned in the Bible are Horeb, Carmel, and Olives. What are trees? Gosh, that's wrong. No. Mount. Mount. But, once again, I didn't lose too much. In addition to six sons, Leah bore him a daughter, Dinah. Oh, who was Le Leah married to? Jacob? That's a correct response. Select again. Yeah. Alright. In 1286, this country's King Alexander II died near Fife when his horse fell off a cliff. King Alexander II, uh... Was it Scotland? Yes. Okay. The centuries-old phrase, float or sink, evolved into sink or do this. Oh, sink or swim, right. that's right. Yeah. It's okay. A scheme that's ill-conceived is described as this, which implies it's only 50% cooked. Half-baked? You got it. Make another selection. Yeah. To everything there is a season begins a famous passage from this book. What is Ecclesiastes? Mm -hmm. That's a correct response. Select and the again. last clue. A small boy is called a little one of these, though he probably doesn't use a razor. Man. No, that's not right. No. Doesn't use a razor? Yeah. Barber? What's that? Big barber. A shaver? You're right. Oh, well. So Wendy is 6,100, Sally 1,700, I have 9,800. All right, players, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. Shakespeare. The category is Shakespeare. Shakespeare. So if the computer player had 6,100, we go to 12,200. So I'm going to go 2,401 on this clue. Very well. When Macbeth begins, Duncan is the king of this country. Oh. Is he the king of Scotland? I'm thinking either... Uh. Yes. It is Scotland. You're right. You got it. So I win the game with $12,201. So at this point in Marty's birthday bank, he's got himself $101,201. And let's go ahead and wrap it up for this segment, and I'll see you all for that next. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon.